Have you ever wondered how to develop self-discipline and make it a part of your everyday life? Well, you're in the right place. Today we're about to embark on a journey into the realm of self-discipline, drawing insights from the book, 365 Days with Self-Discipline. We'll uncover seven valuable lessons that will help us understand that self-discipline isn't about strict rules and deprivation, but rather, it's about freedom, growth, and achieving personal goals. Ready to dive into the journey of self-discipline? Buckle up! Self-discipline isn't something you achieve overnight. It's like climbing a mountain, not in one giant leap, but one step at a time. The journey of self-discipline is a continuous process that requires daily commitment and consistent effort. It's about waking up every morning and making a conscious decision to take control of your actions and choices. Imagine self-discipline as a muscle. Just as you train your body in the gym, you train your willpower through consistent practice and perseverance. And like any good workout, it's not always easy. There will be days when you don't feel like pushing through, but it's on those days that your commitment to the journey matters most. Each day of discipline, each choice that aligns with your goals, strengthens your resolve and builds your self-discipline muscle. It's a journey filled with small victories and lessons learned. So, remember, self-discipline is not a sprint, but a marathon. Keep moving forward, one step at a time. A journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. This timeless wisdom holds true even in our quest for self-discipline. Our most ambitious goals can often seem daunting, like towering mountains waiting to be climbed. But can you scale a mountain in a single leap? Of course not! You conquer it step by step, one foot in front of the other. This is the essence of breaking down large goals into manageable daily actions. It's about taking that first step, however small, and then the next and the next. It's about the power of incremental progress. Start small, build habits gradually, and watch as they compound over time into substantial progress. Remember, Rome wasn't built in a day. It took brick by brick, day by day, to create that marvel of a city. So whether it's writing a novel, running a marathon, or mastering a new skill, the magic lies in these small, consistent steps. Progress, no matter how small, is still progress. No one is perfect, and that's okay. This simple yet profound truth is a cornerstone of self-discipline. Perfection is a mirage that keeps moving farther away, the closer we think we are getting. It's a never-ending chase that often leaves us feeling inadequate and overwhelmed. Instead, let's shift our focus to progress. Progress is the small steps we take every day towards our goals. It's the daily habits we cultivate, the consistent effort we put in, and the little victories we achieve along the way. It's important to remember that progress may not always be grand or noticeable. It might feel slow, almost like nothing is happening. But that's okay. It's still progress. Each small step you take is a step forward. Self-compassion is also key here. Be kind to yourself when you stumble. Acknowledge your effort, your resilience and your determination. And most importantly, celebrate your progress, no matter how small it might seem. Celebrate every step forward, no matter how small. What motivates you to get up each morning? That's a question we often overlook, but it's vital to our journey of self-discipline. You see, beneath every goal we set, there's a deeper motivation. It's not just about losing weight, it's about feeling confident and healthy. It's not merely about saving money, it's about financial freedom and security. This deeper motivation, your why, is what fuels your commitment, even when the going gets tough. It's the driving force that pushes you forward when you'd rather take the easy route. But how do you identify your whys? Start by asking yourself, why is this goal important to me? Then dig deeper. Ask why again and again until you hit the core value behind your goal. Once you've identified your whys, connect them to your daily actions. This connection creates a powerful, lasting commitment that can weather any storm. Remember, know your whys to fuel your journey of self-discipline. Every challenge is a stepping stone. A powerful statement, isn't it? Imagine if we could all view our obstacles that way. Instead of seeing them as roadblocks, we could see them as opportunities to learn and grow. That's what a growth mindset is all about. When we encounter a challenge, our first instinct might be to back away, to avoid discomfort. But in reality, discomfort is not our enemy. It's a catalyst for positive change. It's a signal that we're stepping out of our comfort zone where real growth happens. So how do we do this? How do we turn challenges into opportunities? It starts with a shift in perspective. 
We need to stop seeing challenges as threats and start seeing them as puzzles to be solved, as lessons to be learned. With every challenge we overcome, we become more resilient, more adaptable, more disciplined. Remember every challenge you face is not a roadblock, it's a stepping stone. So turn challenges into stepping stones for success. Consistency is key, and so is having a strong support system. Imagine a river that flows consistently, carving out a path through the toughest rocks over time. That's the power of routine. Every day we make choices that shape our lives. These choices when made consistently become habits and these habits form our routine. A well-designed routine provides structure to our daily lives. It's like a blueprint for success. When we establish regular habits, we create a pattern of behavior that becomes second nature. This could be as simple as committing to read for 30 minutes a day, practicing mindful meditation, or making time for a daily jog. The beauty of routine is that once it's established, it requires less effort to maintain. It becomes our autopilot, driving us towards our goals, even when motivation wanes. But even the most disciplined of us can falter. That's where a strong support system comes in. Surrounding ourselves with positive, supportive people who believe in our capabilities can make a world of difference. They hold us accountable, inspire us to strive harder, and help us stay on track. They're our cheerleaders, our mentors, our safety net. So share your goals with trustworthy individuals, seek their guidance, and let their belief in you fuel your journey of self-discipline. Build a routine, surround yourself with positivity, and watch your self-discipline soar. So are you ready to embark on your journey of self-discipline? Let's recap. It's a journey, not a destination. Small steps lead to big changes. Focus on progress, not perfection. Understand your whys. Reframe challenges as opportunities. Harness the power of routine and build supportive networks. Each lesson is a stepping stone, guiding you towards self-discipline. The path may be long, but every step is crucial. Remember, self-discipline is a journey, not a destination. Every step you take brings you closer to your goals.